How's it going? I, uh, I actually exited back out of the game to go back to the loading screen here so you all could see this happen. Yeah, that's that's what I love to hear when I load the game is that awkward that awkward soundtrack. Mm. I'm ready to get back into this. I got guns, guns of plenty. I got this weird dumb gun that I'm gonna use for a little while. I'm gonna get hit by lasers. Uh, I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Oh, that's right, this doesn't default to the map. That's really cool. Um, I got, I can get to the shortcut place, but I can't do anything in it yet, because I don't have a high enough jump. It's really cool as well. Uh, I forgot what was going on with the dead end up there. I just remember I can't do anything with it, so I'm not going to. There's a door down there that I believe I can't, or sorry, down there. Ugh, at the top of the map, where there's the other save point, directly southwest of it is an unopened door. You know what? Fuck it. I'll go check it out. I'll check it out. Oh, I'm nailing this. Holy shit, lasers. Why would I use this gun? I still don't know why I'd use this gun. In addition to why I'd get hit with a zillion lasers. <sighs> so rude. Yeah, I don't, I just, I don't know, like, it's not giving me what I want, it's not the flavor I'm about. I was thinking about right before I started this episode that, like, maybe the, the all the different gun types is to give you, like, sort of an element of customization. Um, you know, kind of like I was saying with Symphony of the Night before, nice, uh, with, like, all the different weapons, like, you're not going to use all of them, so you pick the one you want to use, unless you're a min-maxer and then you use the strongest one, or use the Chrysogrim, because, uh, holy shit, why would you use anything but the Chrysogrim? And, uh, yeah, so, like, maybe there's an element of that, but it just sort of... Whatever. I can just take the damage. It's not like I keep the damage taken. Give me all the damage... Right? Like, if I respawn this thing, does it still have... Oh, I see. It slowly regenerates, so I can just wait. So, yeah, I might as well sacrifice health to save time. I'm gonna use this bad gun for a while. Uh... Okay, yeah, it's too... It's too big. It's too wide. That wall is too girthy for me. I'm not ready yet. Actually, wait, hold on a second. Uh, I do have this thing, so maybe I can do this. Oh, there we go. There we go, okay. So I did have the power-up. Got it. Don't worry, I know some of you are yelling at your screen. All the Davids out there being like, oh, you're gonna miss it, you had the thing. Cool, I got hit while zoning through the screen. That's awesome. God, I hate this gun. I'm gonna switch back to a normal gun. Johnny Normal Gun, they call me. My father, um, Staniel. St that's a name. Staniel Normal Gun. <laughs> His grandfather, uh, Jim, um, uh, Jonathy. God, this sucks. This, <laughs> this especially sucks with only having one health left. Is there anything over here? Okay, cool. There's nothing over there. It's just the guy there that's kind of in the way. So I just have to, like, do this over and over again. I guess I could, might be able to stand there safely. Yeah, I could just do that. Cool. Oh, but I, I will die if I do this because I have to jump in the water. Alright, well, I'm, I guess I'll, I'll go back and I'll, um... I didn't kill any of these guys. Oops. Did I die? Nice. I died while screen transitioning. Mm. This, this one point where getting the other save point would have been really helpful. Because at least then I could have, uh, would have had a shorter run. I'll try and get hit by fewer lasers this time. Just too busy talking shit. So I don't really know how this, like, quick swap thing works from a... Like, I can't switch to three. How do I switch to three? What if I want to switch to three? How dare you? First of all, how dare you? Can I... Okay. One of the things I wanted to do uh, was to find a sort of, like, standard candle-type enemy. You know, just something that I can plug full of holes and has a decent amount of health on it and see exactly how many hits it takes to kill with each weapon. Because that'll tell me what each weapon's strength is relative to each other. 
Uh, I was gonna wait till I had five guns, so I probably will continue to stand by that. Um, but that's that's helpful in a position like this where you have a bunch of weapons and they're of uncertain capability. Oh, you know, I just realized. Hold on a second. I have the thing now. I could just go here, can't I? This works, right? Yeah, it does. All right, so I could go that way or I could go the other way. Um, cool map system. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the other path because I assume there's like a, a secret over there. Because this area is, if I recall, the, the whole game is kind of a big ring. Was it Sudra? Was that the name of the, the planet? I'm still gonna call it Sandra because that's way, way better. Um, whatever. Eat the damage, just one hit. Uh, Sudra's like, I don't, it's not like you're going around the whole planet, but like the sections are a big ring. You can see there's no, where I am in Kur, there's no area to the right. So if I go to the right and get the stuff over here, it's going to be a power-up in some capacity. Oh god, why does it, why did it start the track over? Seriously, why did it do that? Wow, so rude. Nope, not what I want to do. This room sucks. Oh my god. Give me an ah in chat, please. In, in the comments, sorry, this is in Twitch. My, my wife's a Twitch streamer, so kind of picked that one up. Um, god, it's so awful. Why would they do that to me? Is that against the, the rules of the, of the Geneva Convention? I feel like it should be. Uh, true story, Stardew Valley, beloved game, uh, has a item in the patch notes about removing a violation of the Geneva Convention. I'm gonna give you about 10 seconds to guess what you think that violation is. If you're familiar with the Geneva Convention or things that might be violations of it, you probably know the answer because it's a fairly obvious one. But if you're not, then you're like, do they have like, Nazis in Stardew Valley or something? Like, is there a war crime? Does Kent commit a war crime? Uh, the answer is no to all of those. It's uh, that you're not allowed to display in any media. Um, oh, I don't have the jump thing to get up there. Okay, got it. So I wasn't able to come here anyways. You're not able to display the red cross symbol because to do so dilutes the effectiveness and meaning of the symbol in wartime. So you're not allowed to show the red cross and uh, the plus sign on Harvey's, um, Harvey's like, you know, his, his doctor's office was, now it's like a, it's like a teal colored one, I think. But before, when the game was first released, it was a red, it was a red cross. And uh, so, yeah, so I guess some, somewhere, oh wait, whoops. Uh, a lawyer found out and was like, hey, uh, you gotta remove that. And he was like, oh shit, okay, so he did it. So somewhere in the patch notes, you can go on like the Stardew Valley wiki, look at patch notes and uh, do a control F for Geneva, and you'll find that there's a Geneva Convention violation that was fixed. They don't specify what it is, but I, I ended up finding that out from some under, other random information somewhere else and uh, digging in deeper about what the specific details were. Oh, cool, okay. Hmm. I'm gonna try and cut down on the um, drinking before I record, for one, because uh, I will uh, become an alcoholic if I do that. Because I'm doing this every day, and, um, despite the circumstances of this quarantine, you should not be, uh, you should, you shouldn't feel the need to, uh, drink or do drugs or whatever you use for comfort, um, every single day you should find some other healthy outlet, like meditation, um, if you're able to get outside, anything like that. Positive vibes up in this video, you understand, only positive vibes. Um, Axiom Verge to chill and study to. Um, but uh, today was a today was a fun day, so I, uh, I just wanted to. This is a this was not a de stressor for me. It was a pure enjoyment experience. And I'll be mindful of that going forward. I vaguely recall these guys and just that they're a huge pain in my ass. God, everything is so much health. That's another artifact of hard mode that I'm just like, cool, enemies take more. I guess I, that is a pretty normal way to handle that. Enemies take more damage. Um, okay, hold on. I'll get back to that thought in a second. But I was just in that other area with the weird hanging things. Right? Oh, my God. Uh, ah, right here. 
two rooms away. We've got crazy hanging spike things in the sky. The mind shattering spike balls hanging from chains, right? And we go two feet away. And we've got grass and rock looking like, or like big skeleton. And we've got night sky stuff with big ass bubbles in the background. Oh, that's right, you can glitch enemies. Oh yeah, okay, cool. I forgot about that. There's even an achievement for it. Now, I understand that with most most games, there's always like some... Are those hurt? Those hurt? Okay. I thought the whole point of doing that was that it like made the enemies help, like more helpful. Whatever. Um, I'll use a game like How Night as an example, uh, but there is a sense of transition between the areas generally where two areas that are connected have some like there's some e either like a, a long room oh nice that you'll go through before you get to oh shit i'm trying to be a little bit more mindful i keep dying here and screwing up jumps and such uh example being uh the transition from Forgotten Crossroads to Green Path. Uh, you're in like a sort of in-between state, and also there's like a musical build between them. Uh, like it, the music is quieter. The Green Path music starts off a little bit more quieter, a little bit more sedate, and it builds up as you get deeper in. Um, you want like a transitionary period between areas uh, because if you want the areas to feel distinct and unique and interesting, like we're in a new area now, right? We are in a new area. Uh, then what does this actually do? Does it just make my life harder? It feels like it does. Oh, I have to shoot that. What? I have to shoot them off of the guy or they hurt me? That's stupid. I'm gonna drill this idiot to death. Drilling you to death. Drilled to death, uh, name my death metal album. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Can I un unfuck these things too? I'm gonna refuck this guy. I believe it means this guy can't hurt me anymore, right? Nope, it still can very much hurt me. Okay, maybe it's easier to kill. Can't do anything with those. Great. I don't care about getting the achievement where I, like, unfuck everything. Okay. Or where I hack every enemy. Alright, I'm just gonna eat the death because I was gonna go back anyways and go down. I don't... Just don't care. Just don't care. Yeah, you get what I'm saying, though, right? About transitions. Like, you don't just want to go... There wasn't... There was not even a Metroid-style, like... Or Mega Man-style or any game... Like, a single one-tile room where you went from one, point A to point B, and it was like, hey, we're changing spaces now. There was none of that. Why wasn't there any of that? What was the name of the guy? The, the guy who made this, like, his name is on the, the title screen. You know what? I'm going to go check it out, just so I can... Nah, I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be too rude. I don't want to just yell at this guy. He did... He, he put a lot of hard work into this game. Like... I haven't made a game yet. This guy fucking made a game. This is fucking good for him. That's good shit. Uh, I don't want uh, the fact that, uh, that somebody put a lot of hard work in to diminish my message of the thing they made uh, could be improved. And here's the ways I feel it could be improved. So I'm not going to do that. Um, but uh, this guy didn't do any of that stuff. No room transitions. Or no, no section transitions. I'm I'm hoping Axiom Verge 2 uh, improves a lot of a lot of the deficiencies here because I think there's a lot of potential here. That was actually one of the things I was thinking about with with Hollow Knight is Hollow Knight's really cool. It's kind of got the metro or sorry, it's got kind of got the Castlevania thing where it's you know it's more not exactly medieval but like you use a sword and uh, it's more of like a fantasy setting instead of a sci-fi setting. And like I'd love to see uh, you know like a, a sci-fi setting or like Ori is sort of a sort of a fan fantastical, like a, a whimsical, a fairy tale kind of setting. Um, so let's get more, uh, let's get more genres covered for, for this. Let's get more literary genres covered for, for the Metroidvania genre. Uh, so let's, let's see, uh, you know, another, another sci-fi Metroidvania. And, uh, so like, yeah, if this game did it, that'd be, that'd be cool as hell. Uh, let's see, do I, oh, I'm just gonna take the damage here. There we go. I mean, because at the end of the day, all I want to do is be a jumpy shooty man in a new world and explore the world and have a reason to explore the world. 
That's cool. I'm, I'm totally cool with that. I'll play these... Oh, why does it gotta do the BP at me? I'll play these games forever. You can just keep giving me Metroidvania, so I'd never be upset. Uh, I grew up on um, 2D platformer games. You know, I like I was raised on Nintendo. Just go let this guy jump over me and go. Yep. Forgot, I don't need to fight guys. Why do I need to fight guys? Does this let me... Oops. Oh, no. Okay, so I gotta go back. I gotta wait and I gotta redo it. So it's like... Subtle save system there. Actually, I'm gonna take this opportunity while we wait here. Grab my bottle. Boop. And uh, pour a little more. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. That's good. That's enough. Oh my god. Um, hmm. I'm just looking at how much is left in the bottle. I'm at about 55%, maybe 60% through the bottle. That means I'm drinking too quickly. That is too much. I think it's likely things are going to get a little bit more uh, dicey over the next few weeks slash months, and uh, I do not need to run out of vital supplies. Um, I'm just going to go. What happens if I just go? I'm going to die is what's going to happen. Nice. Nicely done me. Oh, yeah. Totally get wrecked. Um, I don't need to run out of vital supplies when uh, it's not really safe for me to go out anymore. Please stay safe, everybody out there. Uh, be mindful of what is and is not safe to do. Uh, if you have the ability to stay inside, please do so. If you have the ability to get things delivered, please do so and then uh, carefully wash them. Make them safe for uh, for personal use. We don't need to talk about that. We don't need to talk about that because uh, there's a zillion other resources already talking about it, and this is a uh, Let's Play video. And uh, I'm sure that you can find uh, plenty of other resources to um, cover those topics elsewhere. So let's talk about Axiom Verge. So the design of this little drone thing is kind of neat. Um, just sit here? Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this the easy way. I just don't feel like it. There we go. Uh, that was on me. 100% on me. This is a very, I feel like it's sort of blast, uh, Blaster Master-esque. Um, or like, there's another game I think that gives you like a little drone. So Blaster Master wasn't that you had a little drone to work with, it was that you were sort of the drone yourself and then the main ship was the main, uh, the car. Ooh, that's lava. Lava. Uh, can I reach that thing or do I have to, oh, I can jump up here and drop down, that's fine. I'm hoping there's somewhere I can transfer back to my normal body. That would be like the shortcut on the side if I wasn't in this thing. Uh oh, maybe I wanted to go in the right room there. Maybe I didn't. These guys jump. They do. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Mm. I don't know if I feel like doing this right now, dogs. I don't know if I feel like doing this right now. Is this what I have to do? Oh, this is clearly. I see how it loops back around down here to. If I go down, it's going to go to this other point. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. It's got this kind of Blaster Master-esque thing to it. And that's kind of fun, you know, where it's like, it's sort of a mini challenge. You have a, a, a limited set of skills. Skills that are a nightmare to people like, uh, what are these rolling things and the, uh, the Zambo boys. Oh, and then you come down. Oh, wait, wait, hold on though. Hold on a second. Wait a fucking hot minute. Let me just jump in here and take some damage. I'm damage boosting. That's called a damage boost. Get with the game. Get with the zone auto zone. Um, so I could just come in this way? Is that what I'm seeing? And so the other path doesn't do anything for me? Or is this something else entirely? We'll find out. We'll figure it out. Oh, these are like those dudes in... Uh-oh. Uh uh-oh. Uh-oh. These are like the... Uh, what are they called? Frogs? People call them frogs in Super Metroid. You first meet them in Brinstar. Red Brinster. Scratch myself. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, so I'm kind of just wandering around, getting killed by stuff. Since there's no punishment for death, except wasted time, uh, and I'll talk about that in a second, uh, there's no reason for me not to just sort of wander around aimlessly until I get a sense of what I'm supposed to do. So, uh, in every video game, uh, 
at, at its core, regardless of what punishment system they have in place, death is ultimately a is about um, you're losing time. Uh, in Dark Souls, if you die a second time and you lose souls, the only thing that's happening is that you have um, uh, you have to go get those souls back again, which you can grind them out, you can fight more dudes, whatever. The only thing it's costing you is time. There's nothing that's ever permanently lost. The only exception to that is kind of like, well, in Dark Souls, is Dark Souls 2 has it where if you kill guys enough in a certain area, you no longer get souls anymore, so you can't farm them. So I guess, technically, you could run out of souls to get, but you'd have to do it a lot in every area, and that game is just too big. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to get hit by that guy. Man, talking about Dark Souls, I kind of want to replay Dark Souls. It's a fucking good game, all right? Listen, if you're if you're watching this, and there's like three people in the world watching this right now, but if you're watching this and you haven't played Dark Souls yet, it's a really good game. It's not like it's really good because it's hard and it, it, like it's bullshit or whatever. It's a really good game because it's fun. Like the challenges are, are are fun. Like you're sort of like pitted against the environment because usually if you want a good competitive challenge, you have to um, you have to play PvP games. But if you're if you haven't played Dark Souls before, like. <laughs> The design of the game is, is they, they try and trick you a lot, which is, it's, it's fun. I realize that's not for everybody. Maybe I'm, I'm doing a poor job of selling it to folks, but like, it's a really good game. It's, it's satisfying. It's got a lot of systems. It's almost like maybe custom built for people who just really like chunky things that are needlessly difficult. Um, but damn, it's just a good fucking time. Put up. I've put like a hundred hours in a Dark Souls 3. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something I don't normally do. I'm gonna alt tab real quick over to. You won't be able to see this, but I'm gonna alt tab over to my Steam real quick just to see what my. Well, I can't see it because it's in the. One second. Wait, I think I got this. There we go. I just want to go see what the uh, my time played on Dark Souls Three is. Two hundred and eighty-five hours. All right. To be fair, at least some of that is uh, AFKing um, overnight for some stuff that's not related to game stuff, but. Uh, and Dark Souls 1, I have 76 hours on. So I have, like, a collected few hundred hours on, on the Dark Souls series. It's a good fucking series. I just... Why did I not save here? Why did I come back this way? It's really not a great sign if you're playing a game and you're sort of like, man, I really wish I was playing a different game than this right now. But uh, Dark Souls 1 is, uh, in my opinion, and I don't think this is a controversial thing to say, but Dark Souls 1 is a, uh, is a Metroidvania. It has a lot of the same features. It's like the only good 3D one. There's a lot of Castlevania games. A lot, I say, as there was like two of them. There's Castlevania games for the PS2, and uh, those weren't Metroidvanias, or they didn't. They certainly didn't feel the same uh, as you know, like Symphony of the Night did, or any of the Game Boy ones. Uh, I, can, I can make it up here. I cannot make it up here. Fuck. See, this is what I'm talking about. What the fuck am I supposed to do? All right. Uh, I can't get to the shortcut place yet. I can't go here yet. All right, all right, Axiom Verge. This is some bullshit. At least one of the places I've been to, or maybe one of the places I haven't been to. There's this stuff, I can do this, I can unfuck something. God damn it. Uh, I, I would like it, I'd deeply appreciate it if somebody could, um compile the number of times in this episode total that I say I'm going to follow up on something and then I just totally forget about it and, and talk about something else. Because at this point it feels like about three times and I don't remember the things I said I was going to keep talking about. This is what Axiom Verge does to me, dog. For all the Davids out there, I'm still going to refer to everybody watching these videos as David. I've decided that. that I just, I just prefer it. I'm not going to speak to the singular David, but you're just all David now. You're all Davids. Uh, I don't think David's watching any of this. The, the original David. I gotta come up with another. Like, David Prime. I don't think David Prime is watching this. I don't really expect him to. Um, but yeah, you're all Davids now. Um, I don't know what to do, Davids. There's that. There was that thing. And then there was that other thing down there. This sucks. Uh, map. Oh yeah, I want to just see. I gotta go back to here. Oh, I gotta go back to the, the yelling, the ooing, and the eyeing. You know what though? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna go back through this place because I can complete it, and there's a good chance that the thing in here is not just something like 
some bullshit. This could be an actual power-up that I need to get. Uh, and I can only get it by going this way. So I'm going to swallow my pride here and do what I'm supposed to do. That did not work out better for me. Seriously, though, how am I supposed to deal with these dudes? Uh, can I hit him? Nope. This feels awful. I don't feel like I really have a lot I can do to avoid taking damage in these parts. And I mean, I gotta get to those Zam Zambo Zomb Zomban Zombans jumping guys later on, so like, what? What? Oh, cool, I made that guy fall through the world and hit me. Good. Oh, I gotta wait, hold on. I gotta wait for my health to go back up. I'm gonna go save up here, too. At least then, if I die, I'll be right back here. I've decided this is the hill I'm gonna die on right now. I know it seems like I get lost a lot in the if you if you've only seen the two series I've played uh, on on camera here, which is Rain World. Actually, I don't know Blasphemous. I haven't got I haven't gotten lost in Blasphemous at all. Blasphemous has plenty of shit to do. You know what? Hold on, I haven't done this yet. I just realized this might be like a hell a hell of a lot easier. Oh, uh, that's a new area. I'm just going. Oh, I can't reach it though, right? Yeah, okay. Isn't this like the final area? Also, I feel like it might be. Yeah, all right. Uh, Rain World is sort of intentionally opaque or vague, which is fine, and I love the shit out of it. That was that was awesome. Um, this is following a little bit more of a Metroidvania contract, and so I'm having a hard time telling where I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to do. That's oh, uh, I don't want to go this way. I don't want to do this. Oh, I already saved, so I could just have to, like, punch these guys and then I don't care if I take damage. Nice. All right, well, I just found a way I can fight them. Just stand at the perfect distance and they'll jump right over me. Okay. Jump between these things. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're good. There we go. I'll just, I'll be a little smarter about this stuff. There we go. These guys are down here. They're going to do that. Then they're going to go that side. Nope, not that guy. Cool, got it. All right, very little damage taken. I'm learning. Part of having a hard mode... Okay, I remember one thing I was going to talk about before. Enemies having more health is a hard mode. That's not necessarily a problem. Oh, oh, that's right. They latch on. That's why he did that. Uh, enemies having... Or er, games having a hard mode that just make enemies take more damage is not fundamentally a problem because it means that you can't cheese them as easily and you have to you have to use strategies involving the the combination of tools that are available available to you in a slightly more interesting way than you do in a normal game where you might just be like cool two hits are dead so that's not a problem um the issue is if you don't have any interesting combinations of tools to use got it then it might not be worth your while is this the room okay i'm gonna get it before i die at least what did that do? Quick run, frogs jumped over the lazy dog. What, pray tell, was a fox? English thought long ago succumbed to evolution and versatile. Switching the lever seems to be with us once again. Queen Elizabeth, I... Or, <laughs> Jesus. Queen Elizabeth I has bestowed upon us a new dream. Come into my arms. We have much to learn. Cool. Just let those guys do their thing. That guy fell off a cliff, right? Yep, he did. I'm gonna get hit by him on the way down and die. No, I did it. Okay, so I remember if I can move up to these guys, right distance here, they're gonna leap over me. There we go. Look at that, look at that. Fucking MLG Pro right there. A little bit of health back too. All right. Cool. I'm good at video games. I know I've said it in the Rain World videos, but at least <laughs> most of being successful. Oh, I, okay, I definitely have to go in here. So this was a thing I had to do. Please don't tell me it's just a gun that does nothing different from the other ones. God damn it. Well, I got a new gun. Maybe this one owns, and then I don't have any reason to use anything else. Yep, that seems like it owns. David's, that seems like it owns a lot. Maybe it's weak, but it hits everything. So, uh, what was I saying? Fuck me, I don't remember. Hmm. Failure. Uh, a big chunk of being successful is accepting the fact that you will fail. 
and it's about learning from your failures. So, uh, don't ever expect me to play video games and, and kick ass them on the first try unless the game is easy. Which is partially why I give myself, I, I put it on harder difficulties, is I don't want to succeed on the first try. I want to have the opportunity, the experience that I enjoy and that I'm after in games, is the opportunity of experimenting within the game's systems and learning how they tick because of the experimentation. So, recognizing that those those dudes are jumpy boys and that I can stand in a certain spot and make them jump over me is a vital part of... Yeah, this thing actually kind of sucks because it goes everywhere. Um, is a vital part of the experience that I'm after. I'm not after a gameplay experience where I win on the first try. I'm also not after an experience that I'm like... I don't know. Didn't mean to do that either. Oh, shit. Oh, this is how I died here. Got it. I am actually looking for an experience where I will get killed, and the process of getting killed or, or failing, the failure state, will teach me something, and I can walk away from the game with a new lesson. I've learned plenty of lessons in my time playing video games, and I'm definitely not applying all of them right now. But I also don't feel super driven to... I guess I have a certain inclination to not suck ass too much on camera, but it's just, uh... okay, there's another room over there. I got another thing. I'll see what's over there. Bye, bye, bye. We're leaving. I'm just going to go. I don't care. Fuck it. Who cares? Oh, hey, I found a thing over here. That was a total accident. What? Oh, is this a shortcut through this room? Okay. Or, no, this is just a shortcut, right? Yeah, it is, okay. That's not super helpful. I guess it's kind of helpful, because I, then I don't have to take damage from stuff. Sort of an interesting design choice. Oops, uh, I'll do this. Uh, the, the lesson about failure is also, I mean, like, that's a big Dark Souls thing. Sorry. A uh, number of videos I've gone without talking about Dark Souls. Set it back to zero. I know I already talked about this, this video. Shut up. Um... Yeah, like, it's a, it's a life lesson, too, that uh, you're going to fail. Um, failure is an expected state in any system. And uh, so you should learn how to adapt to failure instead of learn how to avoid it. You should learn to be comfortable with it. Um, and then also simultaneously to be... Um, God damn it. Learn how to be sensitive to others' failure in a way that you're not... Like, there's no reason to mock anybody about screwing up. There's no reason to mock anybody about uh, not getting something on the first try. Especially if they're new to it or they're... Uh, I don't know, whatever reason. So this kind, of, this kind of kindness about failure starts with yourself and allows you to be, I think, just a better human being in general. And if you can pick that lesson up from video games, that's fucking awesome. Because uh, then you don't have to go upset anybody in the process of learning or, or be upset... You, can, you get to be upset in sort of a private fashion. That's another thing that I, I kind of appreciate about games. You can learn lessons in a... In a you can learn lessons while alone. Uh, just by yourself. You're, you're having a conversation with the, uh, the game system and yourself. And it can tell you things about yourself and about the way you interact with the world. And you... If... I'm, I'm personally a very open person. But uh, if you feel particularly sensitive about exposing yourself. Or revealing things about yourself. Then games can act as a great um, environment to... Uh, learn things and have a conversation that doesn't require you to be uh, necessar necessarily um, come on necessarily open with you know, with people you're not comfortable with uh, the only system that games are not great at teaching you about is how to socialize effectively, uh, which that one you're gonna have to go out and do on your own, that's usually the the uh, uh Shall we say the stereotype for gamers is that they're fairly under-socialized. Um, so if you're a, uh, shall we say, a uh, introvert in individual who is watching this video and is like, I don't really know how to talk to people. Um, there's no games that are going to teach you how to do that. That's a game you're going to have to learn how to play on your own uh, in real life. And it's worthwhile. It's a good thing to do. Uh, but there's a lot of other lessons you can learn in games here about interacting with systems and about understanding yourself, and you should do that uh, in games if that's a comfortable way for you to do that. And I think good games allow you to do that. Uh, like, I think um, good game design, I'm trying to think about how to phrase this while also shoot boys in video game. 
Um, good game design reveals to us how to have effective conversations with systems, which do not... Uh, systems are not people. They do not have uh, the ability to provide the same kind of feedback, and they don't have the same kind of hang-ups, and they don't expect the same kind of hang-ups from us. This is just a power-up, isn't it? Did all this for a fucking power-up? I mean, I knew that. What a six? Oh, fuck you. Ugh. Ugh. David's ugh. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I don't feel strong enough about the last thought to, like, super delve into it in detail, but if you understand what I'm saying, you get it. If you don't, I don't care. It's all right. Why do these guys respawn? These are the worst guys. I'm just going to die. I'm just going to let them kill me. It doesn't matter. I already got the thing. Right, I can check out my menu and see if I still got it. Game saved. Oh god, this reload time is so long. Inventory. Yeah, I got one of the little power-up things. Okay, weird. Map time. Show me the money. Where do I go? Do I have to go all the way back? Is there something all the way at the back that I'm missing now? Is there another higher jump? What's the deal? I guess I'll just... I can't go back. That's right. Th this feels like where I was stuck before. Uh, I got that one thing over there. That's a dead end. Did I go up there all the way? Up right? No, I needed the jump for that. Uh, on the right, I the middle right, I, I couldn't go. This thing, I thought I it was too high. I couldn't do it. Oh, I see. That's the that. There's this area, which I don't have... It seems like I don't have this stuff for. <sighs> Fuck me, man. I'd like to progress. I'd like to keep going. Maybe I just got too far off the beaten, beaten path. I got too focused on um, going back and getting stuff that I just, like... I was supposed to stay in the area I was in already. We'll check it out. I had this habit, and I have it on I have it on record. I had this habit of um Wow, you can hit those guys off screen, that's nice. I had this habit of saying things of like, oh I should check this out, and then just never doing it, and it turns out that it was this thing I was supposed to do. I'm gonna try and work against that. Uh I wanna try and commit to a single thought, to a thing a single experiment. A single experiment. Commit to a single experiment and follow through on it, and at least get my answer and keep going. Nothing down here. I can't talk to that Rusalki, right? Am I? I don't suppose I'm supposed to do something like that with them, right? Memory address thing. Ah, uh, hello, my old friend. Oh, that's right. Hold on. I can corrupt these guys. Does that do anything? Does it make the? It makes the laser not hurt. Cool. All right, I'm down. I'm down with it. Oh, it makes them blow up those things too. All right. Okay. So there's a little bit of an interaction here. This is cute. I do appreciate that they gave me a, a back door here. It kind of says something about the game, though, doesn't it? That you have to, like, have this back door in the first place. Not a great position to be in. Okay, this is the traver the retraversal path, right? The, the sort of quick travel. You know, hold on. Don't walk this thing across. See if there's anything I can do with it. So I know if you stand on here, this thing will walk and it'll save you a bunch of time. Does this hurt? None of this hurts. There's enemies in here, though. This is just going to kill me. I think the whole point is that, yeah, that you're not expected to walk across it. Oh, I can kill him, though. Never mind. Who, who gives a fuck? Who gives a single solitary piss? That's fine. I, I don't think I'm supposed to go across this way. That seems not correct. If I'm wrong, I'll find out later when it's my only option, when I've cut down all the other options. Hello, my old friend. You know, that voice is... That's the voice of Sandra right there. That's Sandra singing to me. Oh, wait, hold on. No, no, no. That's not the one. I want... God, they make switching weapons. Oh, wait, no. It's... Oh, I'm so dumb. It's the right stick. There we go. There we go. Right stick. Don't push right stick in, just, you know, radial menu. 
I already know I'm not supposed to be here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Sorry, Davids. Okay, that just makes those guys flip out. So they have like another way to interact with enemies. Oh, they'll still hurt. They just don't shoot shit at me. Can't do anything with this. Oh wait, I can drill that. Oh what? Oh wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Is this where I'm fucking supposed to go? Uh, what? This is. I know this is a dead end. Like, as in, it's a. It doesn't lead me to. Well, it doesn't lead me to a new area. What was that? Health node fragment. Okay, so it's just a generic power up. And then up there is something that I don't have the high the high jump to get to. Right? No. Just barely can't reach it. Can't do anything. Oh my god, go to the map. Nothing down there. Okay, I'm gonna go to the top of this place. Go all the way up to the room up there, or the, the area up there where I got the little drone guy. I always just feel so bummed out when I get stuck on a game. Like, I don't want to be stuck on it. I'm not trying to get stuck on it. And I, I'm generally perceptive enough. For a game like Rain World, where the, the whole idea is that everything is sort of opaque, I'm fine with that. Like, then the, the game experience is you're going to have to perform some deep experimentation. It's just wandering around. I'll do this, and I'll, like, I don't care if this thing gets killed, so I'll just kill this thing that's in my way. Cool. Cause like, I just don't, I don't feel like the area I'm supposed to go was right next to where I was. Cause I got the, I got the upgrade for this. And then I went to the area, hold on. Went to this place and I couldn't do anything with it cause I needed like another upgrade on it. So I'm still missing something. I can go here, but I also can't go here yet cause I need a bigger jump. Can I, am I missing something about the address thing where like I can change the water? Probably not. No, I can just change the guys here. That's not, that's not anything. That's the other problem with having a sort of a uh, strange contract like this. And I was talking with, with, uh, with actual David about this a bit about like uh, game contracts. You know, uh, if somebody makes a new Dark Souls or a Dark Souls like, like not Sekiro, because that was from Soft, but um, with Neo, right? Everybody knows what's up with Neo because it's the Dark Souls contract. The expectations are the same. The controls might not be exactly the same. The powers might not be exactly the same. The world's obviously not the same, but the contract is very, very similar. So people already kind of know what to expect of it. If you're going to write a new contract for your game, like the power-ups you can do and the places you can go, you need to be very careful that what you are expecting the player is clear. That the locations they're supposed to go are clear. Um, at least, unless you're... Unless you sort of want them to get lost a little bit, which there's nothing wrong with that. But it's obviously a bad feeling. Like, you don't want somebody to give up partway through the game, just be like, I, people who are less game gamey type folks, people who play fewer games, are going to be less likely to push through a game. They're just going to be like, I got lost and I got bored, I'm done. In the same way that, like, if you read a book for, like, let's say that the book is, you know, 300 pages. You read through 100 pages, you have no fucking clue what's going on, you have no idea what's going on. You're more likely to be like, I'm done with this book, I wasn't enjoying reading it, and I don't really feel like I want to keep going with it. Um, same thing with a story, or same thing with a game, same thing with a movie. Like, <sighs> I like David Lynch, because I like Twin Peaks, and I like, I like weird stuff. But I can understand why a lot of people might not get David Lynch or might not want to watch his movies. Like, somebody watching Mul Mulholland Drive would be like, I don't know what the fuck is going on, just turn it off. Uh, and if you're going to try and be David, the David Lynch of video games, which I feel like is... God, now I'm kind of wondering, who's the David Lynch of video games? Could you, viewer, be the David Lynch of video games? What would that mean? That's so cool. Can I go here? Is this actually a place I can go? It's not. I don't have the jump. God, don't get the jumps in me. Um, let's do this, just fuck this dude up. I don't care. 
don't care. I don't have to care. I'm not contractually obligated to care. But yeah, um... I, like, I feel like I must be an idiot or something. I must be fucking something up here. This is the second time I've played this game and gotten lost in it. Uh-oh. That didn't work. I'm just trying to see if I can cheese this. I got nothing else to do. What the hell do I care? Nope, not high enough. They, they they checked that one. Okay, good for them. They they made sure the path wasn't... You couldn't cheese it like that. Man, I just don't want to be lost. Um, I mean, l listen. If you're in the comments being like, go here, I'm totally aware that I could just go on a walkthrough and look this shit up. I'm not going to do it, all right? It's fine. Don't worry about telling me where I got to go. If you pause the video to tell me, to leave a comment to tell me where I got to go, why? Just wait. Just relax. It's okay. My entire existence is not fundamentally tied to whether or not I get lost in a video game. I'll be fine. Um, your participation is welcome, but not necessary. I would much rather talk to you about the discrete details of the game design here. If there's something I miss because I'm an idiot, I am totally cool with you posting that. I'm totally cool with somebody commenting and being like, Dude, you went to this area, you got this upgrade, and you just fucking left. And you missed this thing. I'll be like, oh shit, you're absolutely right. That's on me. I'm gonna go back in here. God, I still have 15 minutes of gameplay left. Uh, it's gotta be in here, right? Uh, I died. I'll... Oh, fuck, where's my save point? Oh, no! Oh, damn it. Mm. Ugh. Ugh. <coughs> that was a down the rest of the glass moment. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up so bad. My hubris. It was too much. Yeah, no, I, I'll never be mad if somebody tells me, <laughs> dude, you were just being such an idiot here. Don't do that. Because uh, uh, being an idiot is not, a, not like, necessarily, it's not a hostile action. Oh, fuck, I went the wrong way again. Oh no, I'm not thinking. It's fine. Being an idiot is not a hostile action. You don't need to get mad at somebody for being an idiot. You really don't. And you don't need to get mad at somebody for, for calling you an idiot either. Th that is that is simply not necessary. If your identity is too tied up with being the smartest person in the room all the time, please chill the fuck out. Uh, your intelligence and your wisdom is demonstrated over the course of your lifetime. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. David, what the fuck have I said about failure? What have I said about it? Chill out. You're going to fuck up. Uh, is there something here? Oh, wait. I can, can I fuck these up? Fuck their whole shit up? Nothing, huh? There's something I get. Maybe it's the address rewriter that lets me... Can I drill through one of these? No... Why did the sprite, like, fuck up there? Oh, it's because, like, I wasn't holding the trigger all the way. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why they would do that. <sighs> I'm especially drunk and belligerent on this playthrough. I apologize. I do apologize for the degree to which I am making just too much sense. Get that extra upwards map. I'm saving here. It's a little closer. Yeah, it's, it's not healthy to, um, it's very common, very common, and I'll say, so, shall we say that the gamer stereotype is a little bit predicated on the idea of being sort of a know-it-all. Um, don't do that. You don't need to do that. It's okay. Really, it's okay. I still think you're a good person. Uh, but not if you keep doing that. Stop doing that. The only time where having to correct things, mat like, truly matters is, uh, if you're fucking writing software for airplanes or something. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Boeing called out. Um, the rest of the time, it just doesn't matter. Just relax. Shoot me with your, your love laser. Uh, I promise that will not be the only sexual, semi-sexual thing I say on my videos here. Okay, let me go back to that place up there and see what's up. Hold on. Save point. I'm gonna go this save point down here. I'm gonna save at it. 
The reason I missed this is because I took the shortcut. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go. Shortcuts kill, you understand? Don't get complacent with your shortcuts. Oh shit. Oh, it's down here. I legit don't know what I'm gonna do. Tell you what I'm gonna do. <laughs> now you know what. I was, for a second there, I was thinking I'll save everybody the hassle, and I'll go through a walkthrough and I'll look up what I'm supposed to do next. But no, I'm not gonna do that because the whole point of this is to be a replay, and this is a—it's a blind playthrough in the sense I don't know where to go. It's not a—I know the other mechanics that are in the game. That doesn't help me any. Uh, it only helps me in the sense that I know whether or not I have the tools, sort of, to get through, uh, get to another place. But I, I'm not gonna look up a walkthrough. If you if you posted about where I'm supposed to go, I'm absolutely I'm I'm talking shit on you right now. Why are you doing that? Why do you care so much to tell me to do that? I have designated my posting style, my my video upload style is low effort YouTube. I don't give a shit about what you think. I'm not going to be a YouTube star. I'm not doing any SEO. I'm never going to have an intro on my videos, okay? I hit play on OBS Studios and I start recording. This is not about you. I'm doing this for myself. Oh, I have to shoot them off of the guy before they're not painful. That's horse shit. You might think some of this is insecurity. You're absolutely correct. But also some of it is... I've spent a lot of time on the internet. I know what types of personalities are on the internet. I don't understand. Well, I do understand. I totally understand. I completely understand. I've been that guy in too many places. But, like, at some point, you need to have somebody call you out and go, Dude, don't do that. You need... <laughs> this is how you get incels. This is how you get people who have just just horrendously bad opinions about the way the world works. You need somebody at some point to say, That's not cool. Stop doing that. This is, this is me. This is your wake-up call. This random dude on the internet playing Axiom Verge telling you, Stop worrying about whether or not people are doing something right. If you came here to, like... Well, okay. Let's think about it from one perspective. If you came here for a perfect playthrough of this game, you're wrong. Because I might have played a lot of video games, but I'm not... Whether or not I'm good, I'm not trying to do that. Uh, I have a Dust Wars, a couple of Dust Force videos on here where I'm doing, like, the, the top tier shit. I put time into that, and that's... Actually, let's see, the the Yada difficult video on there where I actually get a double S on it is as good as I've ever gotten, and it's as good as I'm ever going to get. I don't care about getting any better than that. But this stuff's not about getting good. This stuff is about, I wanted to replay this game, and I want to talk over it and figure out, remember, why I had a strong opinion about this game in one direction. Um, and if that's valuable to you, cool. Uh, but I, uh, I don't need anything else from you, the viewer. Actually, there's been a couple of people who- I- people commented on, on my videos? I don't know who you are, that's wonderful. Hello, welcome. Um, I'm just some dude on the internet. Oh, that's right, it's so weakening that makes it only take one hit. Can't do anything with this. Nah, I doesn't like this. Not enough. It's not sufficient, David. Hello, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. This is a way that we as human beings can connect on the internet. Uh, this is not a way for me to make money or gain popularity. Uh, so we can have this cool, intimate interaction where I talk over a video game and you, uh, you talk at me about me talking over a video game and then we talk about that. Uh, actually, now, now I kind of want to know, hey, if, you, if you're watching this video and you... How did you find it? Did you get a recommendation and you're like, I want to watch somebody talk over Axiom Verge? Why did you pick this one? Why are you still watching? We're 54 minutes into this video and you're still watching this video. That's impressive, dog. I, I am sharing these videos with my specific friends who may or may not actually listen to and watch the whole thing. And I apologize to those people just because I'm addressing a lot of folks I don't know. Um, and you may not give a shit about all the other stuff I'm talking about right now. But to the people I don't know, what brought you here? Uh, and welcome and thank you for sharing this strange space with me. But uh, why have you decided to listen to some stranger ramble on the internet? Uh, I hope this relationship is valuable to you in some way. It's all confusing to me. I, I'm, I'm not... I am a soon-to-be 33-year-old man, um, and I, uh, I grew up on the internet. I spent a lot of time on it. Why am I coming here? I can't do anything here. Okay, it's time for me to figure out where to go real quick. 
I spent uh, a big chunk of my formative years on the internet. I certainly know what the internet is all about. Um, but I'm not super keen on social media in general. And if you actually break it down, YouTube is kind of, kind of a weird social media. It's a lot of people who try and use it to garner a lot of... Well, because there's ad revenue and you can get paid out and such. Like, you can actually kind of make a living off of this. Same thing with Twitch and other streaming platforms. But you could also just kind of use it as a, like, I'm going to put a diary up here. Somebody might find it. They might not. It doesn't matter. Um, I feel like that's a forgotten part of these platforms is what if you didn't use them to sell ad, ad space? What if you were just here putting stuff up? Um, so, yeah, if you found this, this space and you're not being catered to from an advertising standpoint uh what brought you here and um i don't have any other questions no further questions your honor thank you i don't know where the fuck to go holy shit what do i do uh i'm gonna go back down to that rusalki because i don't know what else to do i li legit don't um we're gonna glitch this thing and we're gonna go through this wall and we're gonna go back down that's gonna be my final order of oh, okay my final order of business for this video is go back to that Rusalki and see what's up. See if anything is up. I don't think anything's up. Does this help? Does that help? Uh, I don't care. Man. I've, been, I've got like three hours on this game on this replay. I don't know what to do and I don't know where to go and I don't care about it. That's a problem with the game, man. Like, that can't just be me. It can't just be me being stuck on stuff. Uh, friends who are watching, actually, friends who are watching, tell me where to go. Just fucking tell me where to go. I don't care anymore. I actually, it, strangers, tell me where to go. I don't care anymore. I don't want to go through a walkthrough. Um, I want it to be kind of more intimate. Just somebody tell me where to go. This is such a bummer. Why would I know to backtrack if it's backtracking? Why would I choose to backtrack? Sandra, where do I go? I can't get up there. Because I can't shoot that thing in there. It doesn't... Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, can I jump on top of this thing and then get up there? Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I reach that? I can reach that. Hold on. Hold on. If this is a fucking journal entry, I'm going to be so fucking pissed off. Oh, I'm going to be so pissed off. What is this? What is this? Sudra, Sudran translation. I have done my best to enable rudimentary translation between Sudran and English. That is the modern Sudran script, not the programming language. Wait, there's a there's a programming language called Sudra or Sudran. I okay. I'm a programmer. That's my profession, my my vocation. I will go look up between this video and the next one, Sudra and Sudran, and see if there's like an actual language there and check the background on it. And I will tell you in the next video what I know about it. Not the program manager, the command is reveal sutron. If there is not, then I'll be like, it's a fucking game thing and whatever. I try it with success on most of the modern sutron communications, as well as some of the older sutron texts. Much thanks to the Gertab variant for this for his assistance. Okay. Story stuff, story stuff, that's fine. I, I promised I would actually read the lore if I'm gonna criticize. Oh, is this a translator mechanism? Decrypting? Is this the decrypting? Passcode tool. Manipulate reality with encoded strings. Use menu. Okay. One of my friends mentioned that they got stuck on this shit because of this before, but they mentioned at the end of the game. Use menu. Inventory. Notepad. Password. What? Notes. Is there anything in here? Oh, use the command. Reveal Sudran. Okay, got it. So, I'll try that. I said, oh, I said inventory, but it just goes to that. Okay, got it. Passcode. <sighs> Reveal. No. 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 Reveal. Su. No, stop. Sudren. Save. What did that do, though? Deactivate. Activate. Uh, oh, is that because one of the notes? But I don't have any notes that need reveal Sudran, so... Okay, well, I have something for later, at least. I guess. 
let me check real quick to see if there's any other commands I missed. Nothing in all capital letters. That's that size. Okay, cool. Alright, well, I'm gonna go back to the save point one in the episode here. Ugh, just... Davids, tell me where to go. <laughs> I just don't... I just don't care! Why should I care about this? The game is supposed to make me care about this. It's not making me care, though. It's a very big, whiny path. It's just not... This... Oh, God, it's very Metroid. Alright. I have pressed up to save. I'll... <laughs> Te both posts to tell me. I'll go look through a walkthrough. Ugh. Ugh. I... I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm gonna finish the game. I promise you I'll finish the game. I will... This is my penance. I am the penitent one. Not... Very much not in silence. That This is what I will do. I will finish the game. I will give my thoughts on it the whole time. You're welcome to disagree. You're welcome to join me on the journey. It's fine. For now, though, I'm done for the day. Thank you for joining me and sticking along with me for this insane, rambling nonsense that I have thrust upon the world. See you some other time. Goodbye. <laughs>